Hello everyone, it's Dari here and welcome back to my channel. So before I get started, little disclaimer, I did just film this whole entire video and then I realized that I hadn't turned on my ring light and then when I did, the lighting was so much better so I decided to refilm this video. So thank me now because I just feel like this is going to be so much better quality. But today I am going to be doing a South Street The Label haul and also a little misguided haul at the same time. So I'll just be taking you guys through everything I got, sizing and all that good stuff. So we'll get straight into that with South Street to kick it off. Okay, so the first item I got was the South Pullover and this is in a medium large. So it just has the white zip up and also the white logo on the front. It's got a plain back. It's a really nice sizing for a medium large fit. And one thing that I will mention with this one is that it's a lot more pink. I feel like the camera is maybe picking that up how it is in true life, but it's a lot pinker than I did actually think that it was going to be. On the website, I thought it come off as more of a tan beige. I do still love it, but I was after more of that tan beige color because I'm just really vibing that at the moment, but it's more of like a muted rose pink I would say but still overall a really nice jumper just to wear around with some trackies or even just some shorts and yeah I do really like this item still so next up I got the white and black South Street logo socks so I do actually have these in the black with the white writing but these ones are really hard to get your hands on they're always sold out so I did pick these up this time these are $20 I'm pretty sure and I just feel like these look so good with your like Nike Air Force Ones and your trackies. Next up, I got the brand sweatshirt in a large again. This is the classic that actually was like one of the first items that South Street did to bring out. Um, I really like this. On the front, it says hustle hard, be kind, have fun, get laid. So this is very popular and is always sold out on their website. It's not fluffy on the inside. I just thought I'd mention. Very similar to the pullover, but I would say they are slightly different fabrics. In comparison to the next jumper that I'll show you, it's just a little bit different. So as I was just mentioning, the next jumper is the property sweater in green and that is this one here. It's a bit more of a luxurious feel. It's very smooth on the outside and it does actually have like the white fleecy lining on the inside, which does differ to the other two jumpers, which I was surprised by when I did get this one and try it on. So this one is a lot more cozier. So to go with this, I actually did get these green trackies. I've seen a lot of people like match these on the website and also just all over Instagram So they are these green ones here. It has their South Street label logo close to the ankle So it's just there on these ones and I just feel like they look so nice together I, But when I tried on these in the medium, they actually did fit a lot more Different to the ones that I do have from them already. I feel like the ones that I previously had do fit a little bit nicer These aren't terrible, so I am going to keep them But they're just not so flattering on me as the other ones are so they were all the items I did pick up from South Street the label this time I did get three jumpers the trackies and the one pair of socks So they are a little bit expensive, but I did get free shipping in the end And I was very lucky that I did actually pick these up during their warehouse sale So I did get 20% off which is very rare with South Street the label to have a sale like that so I was so happy that I did get onto that one. So now I'll go on to show you the stuff I did get from Misguided this time. I've only been shopping now with them for a couple of months but I absolutely love the quality of their items and the price that you're paying. So I do actually get a lot of my staple shorts and oversized tees from this site. So I'll just show you the shorts that I did get first. So these are the Stone Turn Up Runner shorts. So they have a really nice stretchy waistband which is nice. Also your classic drawstring and pockets on the side. So I absolutely love these. They fit so nicely. I am very picky with shorts just because I don't actually love a lot of shorts fitting on me and these are perfect so I actually do have three pairs of these now so I did get this color this time and also the black so I'll quickly show you the black so this is the black here and these have honestly been my ride or die for the last couple of days I've been wearing these religiously so I can definitely see that I will get my complete wear out of these shorts so they're only about $20 as well, so I honestly will invest in some more for sure. I really want the white ones, but they're always sold out, so I'm hoping I can get my hands on them at some stage. But I honestly have so many clothes at the moment that I just need to calm down for a little bit and focus on saving. Oh my god. This one's a little bit different, but it's like a black lace trim cami. And I didn't have any items like this, so I thought I'd pick it up. So it's just this one here. It has a lace detailing around here, and it is actually a wrap style fit. So you do wrap it around and tie it at the front. So I just thought this would look really nice with some jeans, some high heels. And yeah, it's just a very nice style. It's a bit different since it is a bit of a longer cami. 
But yeah, I was really looking forward to this. Again, it was only about $20, so I thought I couldn't really go wrong with this one. And so the last couple of items I'll be showing you are all oversized long sleeve tees. So the first one we have up is the blue pinstripe extreme oversized crinkle shirt. And these are all about $25 as well. And this one in particular is a size 10. So a girl I follow on Instagram actually had this long sleeve and I knew that it would sell out so fast so I did make my purchase as soon as I did see this come up. It's just this one here and it's really nice pinstripe top. It's got a great oversized fit. I actually wore this yesterday tucked into my black shorts that I just showed you guys and it looks so nice. It's a little bit classy but it's also so casual and so comfortable at the same time. So I know that I'll get so much wear out of this one. I really need to iron these and hang them up but I'm currently out of hangers but the next one is the blue oversized pop long long sleeve. I think I pretty much just botched the name of that. I'm going to have to look it up. Bit of a tongue twister, but it's a blue oversized cotton poplin shirt. And I did actually get this one in a size 12 because it wasn't oversized in the label. And it pretty much fits exactly the same as the last one that I did show you that was a size 10. It's a bit more of a different feel, but it's still very comfortable at the same time. It's just a very nice blue oversized tee and I just thought it was something a little different to the classic white which I do wear a lot of kind of like this top I have a lot of these in this white color just different fabrics but I just think they're a real staple to have so last but not least we have the black oversized satin long sleeve I really just love this one I actually got one similarly in beige recently I'm not sure where that one was from but I just think these are just such a classic staple and they look so nice with jeans some high heels and even maybe a red lippy I think they're so nice for like a night out and they're just a bit warmer um yeah I just thought it'd be a great pickup and that pretty much wraps up the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed that and found some items that you may like to purchase yourself and I'll see you guys next time bye so tell me who's gonna love you love you like I do who's gonna touch you touch you like I do